That's a really impressive piece of kit analysis. How confident are you that you will now really be able to tackle the cancer battle? Well, I want to thank NHS staff up and down the country for how they tirelessly worked on cancer you know, throughout the pandemic. But sadly, we've seen, I think, around 50,000 fewer people diagnosed with cancer because of the pandemic. And we do need to go a lot further, a lot faster. We need a new national war on cancer. That's why you know, today on World Cancer Day, I'm launching a new call for evidence that will inform a new 10-year plan on cancer, about how we can do even better at prevention, how we can do much better in early diagnosis, and how we can make the very best use of cutting edge treatments, like the one I've seen here today, the new proton beam therapy here in London, but also in Manchester, and how can we even make use of the vaccine technology we've all learnt about across the world during the pandemic, the mRNA technology. And with this call of evidence, I want everyone to feel that they can come forward Sadly, we probably all know someone in our families that may have had uh, cancer, may have even died from it, very sadly. So whether you are a loved one, uh, a, a patient, a, a academic, a clinician, please come forward and let's all get together and, and do even more to fight this deadly disease. Will the money be made available for cancer care in this country? This is a very expensive bit of equipment. The, the, the equipment I've seen today is expensive, but it's been worth every single penny. The, the, what I've heard today about the patients, how their lives have been transformed, how they're living longer, having better quality lives, that's what this is all about. That's what people want to see from our fantastic NHS. And so we're investing record amounts in the NHS, record amounts in cancer, and with the plans that we've got looking forward, it's more record investment. The other question is the Prime Minister's position on tenable? But the Prime Minister has, uh, has been really clear in, in his response uh, to, to all these uh, the, the reports, the update uh, from uh, Sue Gray. He came to Parliament as he said he would. Uh, he apologised and he set out and said that he will change things. And he started making those changes already. Yeah, you said he apologised, but he hasn't said sorry for using that Trumpian slur against Keir Starmer. You've read what the Nero Mirza said. Do you agree with that? Should Boris Johnson now categorically apologise for using... No, I, I think you know, Keir Starmer, when he was running the, the, the DPP, you know, did, did a good job and he should be respected for it. It's a tough job and he should he deserves absolute respect uh, for that. But the Prime Minister has also uh, come out and he's clarified those remarks and that's important. Okay, Rishi Sunak said he wouldn't abuse that stuff. Would you abuse that stuff? The, the Prime Minister has clarified the remarks and, and that's important. And, and what I, what I will be doing is actually getting on with my job, uh, which is what I'm doing today on World Cancer Day. Does he still enjoy your support? The Prime Minister, of course he does, absolutely.